And you have Devin Gardner, who grew up in this state, dreamed of playing quarterback, was moved to wide receiver, and now he finds himself in control of the reins of this season in this offense. We talked earlier about George Whitfield, his quarterback guru, about the challenge of switching positions. Samantha, it's an interesting journey to the bright, bright spotlight in the big house for Mr. Gardner. That it is, Chris. Every college football quarterback deals with distractions, but what kind they deal with is what keeps head coaches up very late at night. In order to understand fully what distracts the Michigan quarterback, they'd be better off waking up very early, preferably on a Saturday morning. Meet Devin Gardner, 6'4 quarterback, three-year college graduate, and cartoon aficionado. Under the white-hot spotlights, we decided to investigate this unique obsession. I like cartoons. They're really cool. They're really refreshing. You know, it, it gets, it's like a getaway from all the serious, you know, being a Michigan quarterback. For a guy like Devin, um, who doesn't go out, uh, he's not a guy who likes to party. He graduated from Michigan in three years. It's kind of his release. So it's a Friday night. What are you going to watch? Phineas and Ferb. And I actually have Netflix, so I get a chance to watch that any time. There's a platypus in it, and so I think he's most like the platypus. He gets down to business. That guy, he gets it done. So Devin is the platypus. My cartoon character is really, really cool. You know, he doesn't get under pressure much. He's, he's a fighter. You know, he always wants to compete and everything. So that'd be my cartoon. He'd be tall, too. Gardner inside the 10. Gardner touchdown. Sometimes Gardner looks like Superman. But even Superman has his kryptonite. Gardner throws a deep ball, and then that pass is picked off. Every quarterback handles difficulty or interception specifically differently. How did you handle that in the first game, trying to just push through? I'm the leader of the team, and that's one thing Tom Brady expressed to me. Whatever I give is what the team is going to give. You know, that whatever, however they see me is how they're going to react. So I stay as calm as possible, and I make sure I wink at people, you know, give them the look like, hey, don't worry, I got this. Gardner, under pressure. On the field, Gardner sees himself as Wiley Coyote. Looks downfield. He just never gives up. He's a relentless competitor, and that's what we talk about being on our team. I'd probably like to have a little more success than him, though. As for his coach? Fair Flintstone is the probably, it's probably a universal comparison. You know, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that thinks that. I mean, I hope he doesn't see this, but he just reminds me of Fred Flintstone so much. And um, when they made the real life one, he looks exactly like the guy that played him. So, I mean, sorry, Coach Oak, I mean, I... So, for Halloween, are you gonna be a cartoon? I'm not gonna dress up for Halloween. Why not? Because I'm the quarterback at Michigan. I'm not dressing up for Halloween. You're too cool now? Is that what you're telling me? I do watch cartoons, so I'm not that cool, huh? David Polk, you think he's gonna get in trouble for that? A little bit. Of, oh, yeah, coach is gonna <laughs> yeah, see it. Just a little bit.